Understanding the Prayer of Petition Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting topic. The Prayer of Petition. This phrase might sound a bit formal, but it's actually quite common in both religious and secular contexts. Understanding this phrase will not only expand your vocabulary but also give you insight into cultural and linguistic nuances. So, let's get started. A prayer of petition is essentially a request made to a higher power or authority. In religious contexts, it refers to prayers where individuals ask God, or another deity, for something specific, be it guidance, healing, or assistance in overcoming a difficult situation. These prayers express the desires of the heart, seeking divine intervention in personal matters or on behalf of others. Understanding the structure can help you formulate your own petitions, whether they're spiritual or secular. A typical prayer of petition includes 1. Addressing the deity or authority starting by acknowledging whom you are speaking to. 2. Thanksgiving and praise, expressing gratitude for past blessings or help. 3. Stating the request, clearly and respectfully presenting what you are asking for. 4. Motivation or reason, sometimes, explaining why you are making this request. 5. Closing, ending with a statement of faith or hope often acknowledging the will of the authority being petitioned. While the term is primarily associated with religious practices, the concept of a prayer of petition can be found in secular life too. For instance, when you write a letter requesting assistance from a government official, or when you appeal to a higher authority in your workplace for a change in policy, these are forms of petitions. They share the same core elements, addressing someone in power, expressing a need, and hoping for a favorable response. We hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and use of the phrase, prayer of petition. Whether you encounter it in a religious text, during a community meeting, or in a formal letter, you now understand the depth and breadth of its application. Remember. Language learning is not just about words. It's about the ideas and cultures those words convey. Keep exploring, and we'll see you in our next video.